hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is afm stories and i'm here to help you achieve your scholarship goals so on this video i'm going to be talking about the commonwealth shared scholarship which is currently open i had to make this video because i have been reviewing essays for aspirants and i noticed that there's a lot of mistakes that potential aspirants are making that can actually hurt their chances of getting the scholarship so i'm going to make a few videos talking about the commonwealth scholarship some specific essays that i've seen that people are actually having issues with so one of those essays is the personal statement essay so if you've written your essay if you're planning to write your essay or you're in the beginning of the journey and you want to know how to write a great commonwealth personal statement essay then this video is for you before i move forward please hit the subscribe button like this video drop a comment if you're enjoying this and let's get right into it so what is the question the question says summarize the ways your personal background has encouraged you to want to make an impact in your home country you should talk about areas that you've already contributed such as having overcome any personal or community barriers to higher education so basically what they want to see is what is your story so you've been talking about the change you want to make the impact you want to have your career plan you want to study this course but what is your story what is your background what is that thing that motivated you to want to do this thing and how have you been trying to do this thing so if the change that you want to make is obviously helping maybe giving more access to the girl child to education what inspired you to want to make this change like what was the origin of this idea so is it that you were inspired by a personal encounter maybe your own personal struggles or did you grow up in an environment where it was not really the norm and maybe you were just one of the few people that were lucky or you were not even lucky and it took you a lot of time to be able to get it or is it the environment maybe you had a life-changing encounter where you got you went somewhere and you were just really frustrated with how it was or maybe you it has to be like a personal experience that really inspired you or maybe if you're a creative and you want something like a creative business and maybe your personal struggles as a creative structuring your business what is your story what is that encounter that made you realize that you want to do this now if you say that you're passionate about something chances are you would have tried to solve that thing if you're like really a leader or a change maker there has to be that persistent desire to want to make a change so what ways have you tried to solve the problem it doesn't have to be in a large way or a big way it can be in a very small way what are the little things that you've done so uh, is that what has spurred you to volunteer how have you been volunteering um have you set up any initiatives have you worked in any organizations that has prompted you to start up something what are the little things you've done so it can be community work it can be outreaches or maybe you wanted to to change something in in a academic field so have you been taking courses have you been writing blog posts articles academic papers what have you done have you been um, maybe giving information online maybe you're bringing awareness to that issue have you been driving activism what have you done now because the commonwealth scholarship wants to help people that may not typically have access to like foreign education cannot typically afford foreign education they want people that literally need the money like without commonwealth they cannot get that they cannot study that course in any country abroad so they want to see that you've had struggles so one of the best ways to really convince them but also not make it seem like you're just obviously you're begging and you don't have everything together one of the ways for you to really show them that you've gone you've had struggles and you're really passionate about the things that you want to do is you've been trying to do these things but because of finances you're not able to do them or you're not able to do them the way you want to do them so you've had to maybe do crowdfunding to get support on some of these initiatives you've had to um obviously get support from fam and not family because if your family can afford it it's also like it's dicey but maybe you've done like part-time jobs you've crowdfunded from loved ones you've had to work multiple jobs freelance how have you what are the struggles that you've gone through on your journey to be able to do some of the impact that you've done what are the sacrifices that you've had to make 
so you have to be able to tell them that okay i'm passionate about this thing i've been trying to do these things but i've been having these limitations because of my background so maybe i could not get the kind of degree that i wanted or i'd love to further my education but i don't have this but in the current time I have been able to get some crowdfunding support. I've been able to pull different people that have some of these finances to be able to support me on some of these things. What are the struggles you've been able to have? Some people even talk about like how much they're earning. So how much all of the different work they're doing is in like US dollars to show that it's even a, it's even a little amount of money. What, what is your struggle literally? Another thing as well is despite this struggle, despite all of these issues you're having, have you been recognized in some of this work you've been doing? What has been the impact of it? What has been the potential? So you've been trying to do some of these things. You've been trying to make this change. How, what has been the impact? So how many lives have you been able to touch? It doesn't have to be 1,000 people. If you touch just 20 lives, what has been the effect of your actions on their lives? Are people nominated you for awards? People recognize you? Are people at your place of work commended you? as your actions resulted in impact what has been the effect of your actions one of the ways this actually helps is to show that you're not just imagining that you're having impact or you're not just saying that you're having impact but people other people are actually noticing that you're having impact as well now beyond just obviously because i want to backtrack a little beyond just saying that you had a personal experience with this issue another way to really put um to really put like perspective is to give like statistics about the problem so you had a personal encounter you've seen all of these things but statistics also back your claim and your discovery that yeah you experience it you've seen this and then you're telling them that this particular website or this particular study has found or this is the current ranking or this current situation of your locality of your country in relation to that problem so let them know that there's actually a problem as well and also put that sense of urgency so we're actually running out of time we need to solve this problem the world has overtaken us in this problem as well you want to be able to put that somewhat in that essay as well so basically your personal statement for the commonwealth shed is what is your background what is your story what inspired you to be passionate about this field what was your personal encounter you didn't just wake up and say you wanted to change a particular field or carry out a particular career path what did you see that inspired you to do that and then how have you what is what is actually the validation that that is really a problem so what are the statistics to actually say that you're not just imagine that this is a problem this is an actual problem and then what have you been doing to actually try and solve this problem in your only two ways what are the limitations of what you've been doing how has your background affected you from progressing in that work that you want to do and then what have been the effect of the things that you're doing so what have been the impact what are the lives that have been touched as well and how do you think that the scholarship was is going to change your life how do you think you can just end this briefly at the end how can this scholarship help you to bridge the gap between i'm passionate about this thing i have this background i have these struggles and this scholarship is going to take me from this background and these struggles to where i want to be so ensure that your personal assessment captures all of these different aspects you what, you, what your background is what your personal encounter is the statistics but also what your struggles are and use that to actually paint that picture of you cannot get this scholarship you cannot study in this particular country without this scholarship but you don't want to dwell too, too much on that like write a whole paragraph on that no you just want to tell them that i'm having these struggles but i'm not stopping i'm not letting them limit me i am still working despite this i'm still creating i'm still having this impact that is very important okay so i hope this was very useful in explaining the personal statements part of the commonwealth shared essay if you have any further questions about this just drop it in the comments below i'm looking forward to answering you know um and yes i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to subscribe hit the like button see you guys bye